confident and get started. Um, it's Gary, G-A-R-Y, Haba, H-A-B-A, City of Beachwood Police Department. On 8 9 2018, Beachwood police officers discovered the body of 59 year old Richard, Richard Warren at his residence on Brentwood Road, pursuant to a welfare check when his wife could not gain access to the home and it was likely that Mr. Warren was inside. The victim died as a result of multiple gunshot wounds. There was no forced entry to the home and the circumstances at the scene were not indicative of a random incident committed by a stranger. As part of the investigation, Beachwood detectives obtained a search warrant for a home on Elmwood Road in South Euclid, owned by the victim and thought to be occupied by the victim's sons, Michael and Mark Warren. Due partially to the manner of death suffered by the victim, the EDGE SWAT team was requested to secure the home on Elmwood Road so detectives could execute the search warrant on 8-10-2018. SWAT team members attempted to summon any occupants of the home but were unsuccessful. Upon breaching the front door of the house, someone from inside the home engaged one of the SWAT vehicles with rifle fire. SWAT officers returned fire and reorganized. For a period of about 12 hours, negotiators were on scene and many attempts were made to contact the occupants to have them surrender peacefully. Contact was never established. It was eventually determined that there were two deceased males inside the home. The rest of the home was checked for additional occupants with negative results. That scene was turned over to the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation for evidence collection and investigation. The Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner removed the bodies from the home. The medical examiner identified the deceased occupants of the home to indeed be Michael Warren, 31 years of age, and Mark Warren, 29 years of age. The cause of death for both was determined to be suicide. Michael and Mark Warren are suspected to be responsible for the death of their father. Detectives are taking steps to conclude the investigation and are confident that once the evidence is fully processed, it will reveal that Michael and or Mark Warren committed this crime. Understandably, Many in the area have been on edge thinking that this crime may have been committed by a random unknown suspect that still may be at large. We can now reassure the community that this unfortunate and disturbing crime was not random and that the residents and others who frequent the area were in no danger as it relates to this event. I am sure I speak for the entire Beachwood community when I say that our thoughts are with the Warren family and their friends after this tragic and senseless sequence of events. After today, there will be no further information released regarding this case, absent something revealed that is unexpected or remarkable in some way. Chief, what is it that led you to the house or authorities to go to the Elmwood house? Uh, good police work, good detective work. Can you expound on that for us? Um, it's just the, the ability of our detectives to to develop leads and and that led us to that to that to that home is why something the wife said or the mother of the kids or it was a combination of many things why were the sons the suspects like I said good police work we were able to determine leads and that we never really um, obtained arrest warrants for the sons but we put a search warrant for the home in South Euclid. what connected them to the murder they're his, they're his sons and we needed to speak to them and we thought there might be some evidence in that home. Is there ballistic evidence that was that tied both scenes now that they apparently shot themselves? Was that the same weapon that was used in the murder? Were you able to check on those ballistics? What did that reveal? The weapons are all in the custody of BCI right now and the scene from the South Euclid incident is being investigated by them. So all of those questions will be answered by them. Do you have any reason to believe that a weapon was taken from the home where the father was and then taken over to the Elmwood house? We do not have any reason to believe that. Was motive ever established? We haven't been unable to uh, clearly establish a motive at this point. At the house, was anything taken or stolen or out of place that you noticed? Um, I, I don't believe that anything of major value was. How long was Dr. Warren dead before police found him? I, I haven't seen the entire report from the coroner's office, 
but um, I'm imagining not more than 48 hours. How are the surviving family members doing? Um, they, I believe that they appreciate um, some privacy at this point in time, as you would expect, but uh, from what I know that they're doing as good as they can be. We know that Dr. Warren had a wife. Does he have a daughter or brothers or sisters or any other children? There, there is another child um, that's really not a portion of the case that we're, we're concerned with. Girl, boy. It's a female. Any indication of any change in the relationship between Richard Warren and his sons in the weeks prior to this? Not that I know of. Did you ever have occasion to have to visit the home where the father was found for any domestic dispute, anything like that? Uh, we, we, had, we have had a few instances over the years. Uh, I would not consider this a, a problem home in the city or anything like that. Uh, nothing where any uh, where any arrests were made or anything of that nature. What have your investigators found about why these two sons would kill their father? Again, we haven't really established a clear motive at this point. Can you tell us anything about those previous incidents, uh, what they were? They're available for you. Uh, one was the, the two boys were um, in the home, uh, uninvited, and the, the stepmom was home and thought that they were strangers, that there, there was a burglary in progress. Turned out that it wasn't. The father got home and everything checked okay. Um, they, they, no one wanted any charges and they were sent on their way. That was the only one of, of real significance that I recall. Was that when they were younger or when they were grown men? How long ago might that have been? I want to say it was 2015. How many times had Richard Warren been shot? Uh, multiple times. Is I, I, would say, I would say five to six. I can't remember. Which room was that home? It was upstairs. Upstairs bedroom, bathroom, hallway. Uh, I want to say bedroom or, or hallway. Area. Where in the house in South Euclid were Mark and Michael found? Again, that anything having to do with the South Euclid incident, I can't really remark on. It's not our jurisdiction and it's not our investigation. Any yeah, evidence that they had been, uh, any evidence that the uh, sons had been planning this for a while? Again, that's that's something that would come from the fruits of the, the house and 